Right, hi everyone. Welcome back. In these days of lockdown, not being able to get away, it suddenly made me realise how precious my family were. So, because I can't go and see them, Skype is brilliant, as is um, FaceTime and all the rest of it. But sometimes it's just nice. So, letter writing or parcel writing. Snail mail, as they call it. So, what we have here is, it's like an accordion fold pocket letter. I think that's what I've sort of found. So, I've used what I've got in my in my stash. If I open it up and show you, this is what we have. And I've got a couple of Velcro strips in the back. So if I open it all up, it is literally, if I zoom out a bit, you can sort of see it all. There we go. So it is a pocket letter and a bit of fun, a bit of, this one is actually for one of my granddaughters, hence the pinks and um, the pretty stuff that's on it. And it's fun. And that's what... I think we all need at the moment. This is a bit of fun and a bit of, hey, you know, still here, still thinking of you. So I've used designer paper. This was in my, in my stash. So she turned around. Up there, loads of it, absolutely loads of it. So I've been sorting through, because it's a bit boring, I've been sorting through all my things and there. Uh, I'm thinking, yay, so this is using whatever you've got. A little bit about postage, actually, before I go on. I don't know about the States, but in the UK, that, which is A5 size, is classed as a large letter. I think it's about a pound, a pound 20 to post. So you get, well, actually a large letter would be A4 size, uh, so something that size a4 which is eight and a quarter by i think about 11 and 7 eighths a4 size and you get half an inch of thickness you do have to watch the weight though now i'm hoping i'm going to get two of those in that box and then that will do one grandson one granddaughter and we'll see how we get on so yeah I would suggest, like in the UK, the Royal Mail, uh, I have a, a pamphlets, leaflets, which you can download, print off, and it tells you how much it's going to cost. So for me, a large letter will be first class £1.50, up to 250 grams. I've got kitchen scales. I use kitchen scales to weigh my stuff. So that's the word on the postage. And then... We can have a go at making one of these. Yeah, they're fun. It's a bit of fun. It's using up, for me, using up what I've got. I'm sure there are so many people that have got so many designer papers that they look at and they think, oh, I'm never really going to use this. So, to begin, I had two sheets of this, which I've, let's move me stickers which I've cut down. Now, this one I've left as an A4 size, so it is eight and a quarter by 11 and seven eighths. And this one I've chopped down, still the same size, but I cut it to 10 and a half. And the idea being, oh, there we go, see, I've written it all on the back. I will put the sizes below so you can, you know, have a look at them, print them off, Write them down, whatever's more convenient. Oh, that's what I meant to say. These, I've, oh, these are Velcro dots, but they're a bit bulky, but anyway, there you go. I've just put lots and lots of little bits of card. Oh, let's bring that back in, a bit of card. This one's got a postcard. Just 
Now the envelope has got, what have we got in the envelope? Oh, some more note cards. This letter I've done for, well I've kept out because that's what I shall write on and that will fit in there. We've got a library pocket and I've just put a load of Fomono? Fomio? Don't know. Can't, not 100% sure. <laughs> what are those little printer thingies? So I've printed off some um, little stickers for her to use whenever. There's another little card in there. And then, like I was saying, in the back, I've actually put these on. You don't have to. You could put a pocket. You could leave it. It really doesn't matter. But I've made up some stickers for, for both of them. So they will go in there. Right, let's do these. So, A4 size. What I will say is, if you take, um, if you have, oops, stickers falling there, pattern paper, be aware. Now, I took this apart because I had one up that way, so the right way, and one up the wrong way. So I ripped it to bits, put it back together, assembled it, and then found actually, now they're all up the wrong way. So I phoned my daughter last night and I went, um, I've made some up for Molly, but... And she went, Mom, it's fine, don't worry. So, ha! This time, because this is my grandson, so it's a bit more manly, less um, uh, feminine, if you like. It doesn't matter, so I could have one that way, I could have one that way. Better still, just make it with plain paper. Right, so, to score. So, because I've checked, and no, I don't need to have them whichever way up, we have scoring at five. So, I'm making these leaves five so five and ten I keep it simple for me because my brain really can't cope at the moment and then if I bring it down a bit you can see I'm just going along at every mark that I've got on here I will I think trim this off which is what I've done and that one I think I will do so ten so I've done three quarters of an inch every eighth eighth yep every eighth to allow it to bend and that bit will be the flap so that's the one piece number two I've scored at five at 10 and I've just realised I've only left a quarter of an inch. See? Mistake number two. Don't do these when you're in a bit of a <laughs> on cope. Oops. Just put these down the right way. Okay, we can still make it. We only need a half inch fold. So that then will join together. Okay. I also found a glue gun. Not a glue gun, a um, tape gun. It was like, wow, how old is that? That was back in the day when I used to make uh, mini albums. Right, that's it husband thought it so if my uh, editing looks a bit dodgy that's what it is right suddenly realized I was going to do it the wrong way anyway so I like it so the seam allowance is actually on the inside so you get a nice sort of clean line on the outside now my seam allowance as I've said is a little a little small And if I'd have followed my own advice, I'd have half inch. Hey ho. Right. 
Let's put those two together and see oh yeah I definitely need a little bit of wiggle room Now, if you're not sure you're going to get your edges together, just trim off that bottom bit there and it will get rid of any um, telltale lines. Honestly, it does. Right, so, start the accordion vault. So, have one. And then that one. And then the last one. And then these ones, I'm, I've always found where I've got, uh, let's see if I can bring the light round, nope, sorry about that, adjusting the lighting on the fly, if I hold my ruler against it, I can sort of get them to, oops, come up one at a time. Otherwise, I find I'm uh, not oops, very good with these. Or, it's not, not very good. It's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They never seem to quite go how I want them to go. So now... We have a nice curve, which will fit any size that you want it to. I do, I like to round off the corners. There we go. Now I haven't actually scored these yet because I'm not sure I'm going to need it just yet. Okay, let's go for it. There we are. Nice and neat. I'm ready to decorate. Now decorations, I over the years have collected a whole heap of little coin envelopes I've got in there. I've got, these are actually in our local Tesco's and were advertised as um, lunch money envelopes. So, oh, okay. Those out, and then I've got these little glassine bags. No, I have had all. Of, I don't tend to use many, and if I'm if I'm making a journal, maybe I'll use two or three in a book. And you buy them in bulk. Well, for me, it's bulk. I've even got some little paper bags. Now these I actually got from my local haberdashers. I went in there the one day and I just bought some ribbon and she gave me some of the, gave, or wrapped them in this and I'm like, ooh, ooh, I like those. Just little paper, they're quite flimsy and I probably wouldn't use them in my grandkids' journal, but for someone that was a, a little more um, gentle, I think is the word I'm looking for, then that might work. Now, I've also got... I bring these over so as I said these are all out of my stash these I've had a while uh, big sort of heavy duty coin envelopes I've got some of those um, what have we got here now these are I forgot what these were called uh, 
card envelopes, sort of card holders, I think. Now I put a template for that one, and so that makes up one of these. And that's a library card holder, which starts life looking like one of those. I've put the templates for both of these on my on my blog. So feel free, I'll put a link below, feel free to go in, download them if you want to. It's just, at the moment, I think we can all do with a bit of help. That's what the templates look like. So that was a card holder, that one's a library pocket. Um, yeah, so score lines and everything. So that's the actual basic making the shape and then it's just a question of deciding where you want envelopes and everything else to go. Now I've got a load of these, they are for me A6 envelopes, they can be glued on like that, you could have say like I've done in, in Molly's one. I've actually made up a couple of little envelopes and I've just hinged it so I can put my card inside. So that could be hinged, it could be stuck down. And then you've got a card holder. You don't need to have more than one on a page. It's entirely up to you. And you can have so much fun with these. Just bear in mind the weight if you are going to post them. Bear in mind bear that in mind too. I like to fit them on. So let's go on there. Oh that's going to be too big I think. That's a better size. That one will fit there. And then that I need to make up some little envelopes just to go in there. I have got, I think. Oh, there we go. Everybody went through a phase, well, I certainly went through a phase of buying these little ones, and so I realised actually they're not that difficult to make. The next one, I think I'll split it into two or three videos. So the next one I will do will be decorating the envelopes, decorating everything. So it gives you all chance to sort things out. Gives me chance to, looking at my battery, to recharge the battery. Right, we'll leave it at this for the moment. I decorate first and then I stick things in. Basically, if I mess up on the decorating, I can throw it away. Start again. All right, I will stop it here. Come back in a day or so with the decorating one. All right, you take care now. I hope I've made sense and I haven't wobbled too much. I'll speak to you all in a bit. Take care, bye.